Kids 105.3 and 1340. We're hip-hop and R&B live today party with your favorite DJ, DJ Diesel. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... Diesel, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we got to start off and give a shout-out to Angela Yee. This is her last week on The Breakfast Club. That is the number one hip-hop radio show, period. And I heard Charlamagne and DJ Envy, they've been doing it since 2010. And y'all, I started radio in 2010. So I kind of grew up with them in the radio business, watching all their interviews and checking them out. I remember something that meant a lot to me personally was when I interviewed Jack Harlow before they did. <laughs> I did feel good about that because Jack Harlow was popping, but I got to him before they did. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man, they did some incredible interviews I'll never forget. Uh, I do have to say this, though. Y'all, Angela Yee, she was always the interview killer for me, y'all. <laughs> they be talking about something and Angela Yee would just come out the blue talking about who you dating and rumors and all of this. But that's what she added to the show. She added her own thing. And it's good that they're expanding and she's going to do her own show. But big shout out to Angela Yee and the Breakfast Club. Y'all, in other news, we got to talk about Megan Thee Stallion. She's making big moves. She's the first black woman to cover the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Uh, last year, she earned $13 million. Big shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. She said that she cannot slow down. She's going to take a break when she did. She said that she's building something right now. So big shout out to Megan. Y'all, in other news, Metro Boomin, he announced his Heroes and Villains short film. It dropped earlier today at noon. I actually got a chance to check it out. It's only like six minutes, so it's not that long. But it got uh, Morgan Freeman, Lakeith Stanfield, uh, Gunner, Young Thugger. They all in that thing. Got to check it out. It's, it's something different, but uh, he's dropping a project this Friday. So it's, it's a good promo for that project. Like I say, it's, it's something different to promote the project. Y'all, in other news, our record companies buying views. A lot of people think Atlantic Records are buying views for their artists. Don Tolliver has a new song called Do It Right, which I like a lot. But a lot of people noticed that in the comments, there was a lot of bots in the comments saying crazy stuff, stuff that didn't even have anything to do with the video. And some of those same bots and comments were under Roddy Rich's videos and Little Uzi Vert. And they're all signed to Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records said they're going to check into it. They ain't got to check into nothing. They know what they're doing. They buy them views so their artists look big. Y'all, in other news, Doja Cat, she gave us an update on her album. She did not give us a release date yet, but she said that she's inspired by the Beastie Boys right now. She said the Beastie Boys will hit you hard, loud, and with some crazy rap, but they'll also hit you with some real 90s punk. And she said that she loves that. So we'll see what lane Doja Cat takes for her next project. And y'all, last but not least, Drizzy Drake was talking about his new project, Her Loss. He said it's part of a trilogy. He said Certified Lover Boy was part one. Honestly, never mind, it's part two. And this is part three. And he also said that him and 21 Savage helped each other a lot during the project and wrote some of each other's rap. Y'all, that Drizzy Drake 21 Savage combination equaled the highest selling hip hop album of the entire year. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp, right here with Kiss 105.3, 1340.